the fellow travelers, back here with Walter's World. Today we're going to be reviewing that hotel right there. The Grand Hotel Central here in Barcelona. Let's go inside and see what it's like. Doesn't look too bad, does it? I'll be honest with you, the service is outstanding, the people are super friendly, the food they have, whether it's breakfast or at the restaurant or up at the Sky Bar, it is all good. I cannot complain. Well, there's one thing I can complain about, but I'll talk about that later. Overall, a fantastic place. And when you're looking to come here, a lot of times people want to know, where, where am I going to be staying though when I'm in Barcelona? You literally are next to the cathedral. I mean, literally, well, not exactly next to it. You're like two blocks from the cathedral. Not Sagrada Familia, like the Barcelona Cathedral. Like, I can see it from out my windows. When you go up to the Sky Bar, if you peek around, you can see it. I mean, it's literally right there, okay? So, location wise, you are set up because you got the Barro Gothico, you can walk to. El Born is right there. So, you have restaurants, bars, clubs, and the Sky Bars, all kinds of stuff. Shopping, all right here. Perfect location. If you're coming in from the airport, it's about 20 minutes to 30 minutes in a taxi, depending on like what time of the day you come. Uh, the Aerobus, uh, if you want to take that, that actually comes in to Plaza Catalunya, which is just down the street. You also have a number of metro stops right around here. So honestly, transportation-wise, location-wise, you can't beat it. And as great as the location is, the service here is even better. Front desk, top notch. You need anything, they will help you. There's a concierge they have during the day that can help you get tickets, can help you set up events. If you need a ride someplace, you want to set up a tour, they can help you and they're very friendly. Everyone, English, Catalan, Spanish, no problem. I was here giving lectures and a conference attendance to help you set up your room outstanding we had an issue with one of the screens they moved us into another room with a bigger tv but the only problem was is the view you know was of the cathedral and all this beautiful stuff so my students had a hard time concentrating in class because the views were fantastic from the conference rooms i mean it is outstanding and what actually made it harder for my students is the conference rooms are on the eighth floor and um so is the sky bar and let me tell you, this big selling point for a lot of people is actually the Sky Bar here. It's open late night. It has food. It has drink. It has, you know, music. There's also an infinity pool up there you can go stay at. Honestly, that is one of the highlights that my students found and I found being here. The food was excellent. They actually bring some from downstairs. There's actually a bit of a different menu than the Helena restaurant that's down on the ground floor. The Patatas Bravas, go for those. Take my word for it. But the service up there always kept you fine and the thing is you can charge it to your room or if you just want to pay as you go you can do that and you do have people from outside the hotel that can go to the sky bar so be aware of that when you do go and also since we're on the eighth floor i should tell you about the other thing that's up there they do have a small gym and it's got a few elliptical machines and treadmills and some free weights it's not a huge gym i mean in general, I find European hotels either don't have any gym equipment or they have a small amount of gym equipment, and this was fine. Um, you know, I could run on the treadmill. I know it doesn't look like it, but you can, and I did. It worked fine. But what's cool, on Friday and Saturday mornings at 8 a.m., you can sign up and they do yoga by the infinity pool looking at the cathedral at the sky bar. I mean, that was really cool. Now let's continue on with the amenities. Um, other stuff they have here, um, you can get spa treatments if you want. Um, for me, I actually ate at the restaurant Helena, which is on the ground floor. It's open for anybody that wants to come eat there. And I mean, I was there at lunchtime a couple times and it was all locals that were eating there, which was really cool to see. The food was fantastic. I had the pork cheek. Oh my God, and it had uh, big uh, green onions on top of it. It was phenomenal. And the service, I had like three or four people ask me everything. Okay, how can I help you? Have a great day. You should try this kava, you should try this. Outstanding. Everywhere you go in this hotel, the service outstanding. And speaking of service, the cleanliness service, the, the housekeeping, they do a wonderful job. I mean, we're talking turn down service with a couple little chocolates every night. They also give you, uh, not bottles of water, but the uh, Tetra pack of water, so you add that. But they will clean your room every day. They stop in a couple times a day. If you don't want them, put the sign out, it's fine. When I left the sign out, because I just wasn't feeling good, I stayed in for the day. They knocked like, are you okay? Do you need anything? I'm like, I'm okay, I'm just tired, it's all right. They're like, okay, you let us know if you need us to come and do something. 
they were so sweet. They were so nice. It was great. Um, when you're getting around the hotel, I guess one thing is there's not a lot of elevators. Okay, you have one main elevator at the uh, check-in desk that's right there. That's like the fancy circular kind of staircase one that's there. And there's two more at the far end. And there's another another place, but there's two at the end of the lobby. And you can go up there. You do need to use your key card to get yourself in. What's cool in the elevators, they actually do list some of the activities that are there. And what's cool is if there's any events going on in Barcelona, they let you know that, hey, this might be a good thing to do on Wednesday. Here's something you should do on Friday. I thought that was like that little bit extra, which made things very nice. Now, if you're gonna be coming here for work, okay? Like I said, the conference stuff was fantastic. Desks in the room were well, lots of plugs. I mean, even I could even plug in like HDMI, the old school VGA cord, all those kind of things on my desk over here. I could do that, get everything connected. It was great, that was fine. The only bad thing, the only thing that holds this back for me in like a perfect hotel is they seriously have the slowest internet possible. Like sometimes it wouldn't even register. Like I tried to do a speed test, it couldn't even do a speed test. Eventually I did do it, it was, I don't know, under two, for under two megabytes for a download, just over two for an upload. So that is a problem. If you're someone like me that does a lot of stuff online, it is very frustrating. And I know for a lot of Gen Z and millennials and heck, boomers, what if I think about my dad, they wanna be online, they wanna be checking YouTube, they wanna be doing things. That was very frustrating. That did not work. Like I was planning to work in the evenings here uh, to doing research and uploading videos and editing. It was impossible, like literally impossible. The internet was just that bad. That is honestly the only bad thing about this place. Otherwise, it is fantastic. What's funny is you can tell I've enjoyed my stay here and I haven't even talked about the room yet, okay? I have a double room, very nice. It's the two single beds. I will warn you, if you're coming here for a dalliance, you might hurt yourself because the beds easily roll apart. Or if you're just laying there and like put your arms on the other side, it kind of rolls apart. So. Be aware of that if you're coming here for a romantic weekend. But overall, the beds were very comfortable. They they definitely do the military corners when they're here. Like, that bed, you are locked in. You're not going to fall out. So once you're in, you're not getting out how they tuck them in. But they don't tuck you in. No, no, no. They don't tuck you in. They just like, they have the corners tucked in very tight. What's nice in my room, when you come into the room, you do have to use the key card to uh, turn the lights on. You have that. But there's a nice little, you know, little mini sofa love seat there to sit on if you want to relax and take your shoes off and those things. The bathroom, it's a full bath. Okay, you have a bathtub, you have a shower that has the rain thing and the hand one. Hot water comes almost instantly. It was very nice. Toilet obviously works as a toilet. Sink is nice. What I like about the sink is there's plenty of light for the sink. So if you want to shave or you got to you put your makeup on or work on your contacts or whatever, you can do that no problem. They have the extra mirrors there. There is also a huge, huge, huge full-length mirror right by the door so you can make sure you look fantastic to look as just as good as the Barcelona people out there that you're going to see. And it does have a hair dryer here if you want to use that. There also is a safe that I used when I was here. They do have laundry service so if you want to grab the bag and put stuff to get cleaned. They even have a clean my shoes box if you want to get that done. However, you know it's a hotel so getting your laundry done here is not cheap. Like it's not cheap at all but it is an option you do have. And what I do like about this is it's a double and there's two separate closets. So there's one for me, one for Jocelyn or as I like to say one for Jocelyn, two for Jocelyn. But there's enough space. They had a place to put my suitcase and another space for suitcase over there and one of the fold out things as well plus drawers. I mean, you had a lot of space. Like this has been a wonderful stay. I'm very happy with my time here, except for the internet. And for those of you who get upset, well, you're not there for the internet. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't use the internet ever. I'm just saying that, like I'm trying to find something bad to like say anything bad about it. They do have a mini fridge. It's stocked with a few things, candy, drinks. There's some wine there too, if you want that. Not a big deal, just check off what you need. They'll bring more for you, no problem. There's also room service, which I'll bring it to your room. Um, but honestly, uh, so you're going to come here, you're going to use that Sky Bar as a great place you can work there. Um, you can talk there, hang out with people, meet, meet other travelers when you're up there. I enjoyed that and the view from there is outstanding, okay? So I hope this helps you know a little bit more about coming to the hotel because the Grand Hotel Central here in Barcelona, it is a wonderful place to stay. I cannot say enough from the people at the front desk. Thank you so much. Oh, I even talk about breakfast. Oh my gosh, the spread you get at breakfast is unbelievable. I mean, Spaniards don't typically do a lot of breakfasts, but this one here, 
phenomenal breakfast. Eggs multiple ways. Um, they've got your bacon, their mushrooms. You know, if you want to make your own little fry up, you could do that. But they also have a lot of Spanish things as well. A lot of fruit for breakfast too. And the people that work in the mornings are wonderful too. So I really can't say anything bad except for the internet uh, when you do come here. So if you do stop by, tell Malta's World said hi. But just enjoy your stay because honestly, being where you are right here, being able to walk to El Born, the Barrio God to go to the cathedral, all right here, not that bad. And honestly, if you get really industrious, it's about a 35 minute walk to the Sagrada Familia. No joke, I've walked there multiple times because it's just a beautiful walk. So, I hope this helps you know a bit more about the hotel. If you wanna learn more, maybe about some of our other travel reviews, go to our website at waltersworld.com and enjoy your travels. And I hope this helps you find a nice, clean, well-located place with fantastic service to stay when you come to Barcelona. Bye from here at the Grand Hotel Central in Barcelona.